Greetings everyone, hope you're keeping well out there, as I'm sure you all know by now, my name is Alex, and today we are checking out the rather cheap and cheerful game, iPhone Case. Now this Game Boy look-alike iPhone case is basically a cheap and cheerful solution on how you can play some classic retro games whilst you're on the go. However, considering the price of these things, which is exceptionally low, it does make you question just how good they really are. So let's take a close look at this thing then. Well, this is the original packaging it has arrived in, and on the front it states 36 classic games. And then if we take a look at the back, well, there is a red iPhone case, which basically means that yes, these things are available in a variety of different colors. But as you can see, I've gone for the original Game Boy color scheme because I just fancied that bit of nostalgia. And if we just slide this across, then we can finally reveal the actual Game Boy case itself. Well, for first impressions, I must admit, it does actually feel quite durable. Now, don't get me wrong, it's nothing special. It is just plastic on the outside and then the interior is just rubber. But the best thing I have to admit is just how cool it looks. But let's just quickly finish the unboxing. So what else we got here? It's a multi-language, it looks like. Uh, just very basic instruction manual. And then finally, we also have a micro USB charging cable. So let's throw a phone inside then to see how that feels. Well, here we go then. iPhone 12 Pro going into an iPhone 12 Pro case. That's clipped in nice and secure. And yeah, okay then. That feels pretty good to be honest with you. Let's see how responsive these buttons are on the side. So off, on, off. Yeah, pretty responsive. And I do like how the rubber goes all the way around the exterior of your phone, just for that extra peace of mind in case you do drop it or knock it off a table, etc. Of course, I don't know how well this case will do in keeping your phone well and truly secure, but I must admit, in terms of how it feels, yeah, it doesn't add that much additional weight. It is a bit on the chunky side, but just look how cool it looks. I mean, you've got a phone on one side, and then almost a mini retro console on the other. But how good are the actual games? Well, let's find out. So to begin with, I'm gonna pull this off and then there should be a little protective cover here as well. If you can find it, that is. Pull and reveal. Well, hey, there it is. Right then, let's turn this thing on. So on, off, or maybe press and hold. And there we go, right. Okay, so we have some music. And we can select which language we want. English and another one, I'm not too sure what that is. So um, let's select English. And straight away I've noticed it looks like they've got A and B the wrong way round, but can't complain. However, look at that display. Yeah, the display is pretty cool to be honest with you. It is slightly washed out in terms of colours, but you can easily see everything. And obviously here are the games. Now, in terms of the games, well, uh, I can't obviously go through them all, but I will list them all in the description beneath this video for you all to see. And so we'll start off with the classic Super Mario Brothers. And I'm just hoping though that the buttons A and B are not that way around. Okay, uh, select. Right, here we go then. So they are the wrong way around. Oh, how frustrating is that? That is disappointing. But, Let's see how well I do on this. Right. <laughs> I can't remember how to do this. There we go. Get the mushroom. I think it's going to be quite difficult, though, when I try and run and jump because of, you know, you're just used to it being your way around with the A and B buttons. So the controls again. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can press quite hard and they are responsive. They're not the best. Like I said earlier, but I think the thing to try now is can I run and jump with the buttons being the wrong way around? Now I know you're probably thinking, what am I going on about? But usually you do and just slide your thumb across, but I've got to do it this way now. So that's run and hey! Well look at that, I managed it. <laughs> Without considerable ease, but it is possible. What else we got then? So Excite Bike Gallagher? Yeah, let's try that then. Well, it does what it says on the tin. It's a classic sci-fi shooter. And how good am I at this? Not doing the best, as you can see. 
<laughs> okay, another one then. Um, Puyan Battle City Load Runner. I like the sound of that, Load Runner. So let's. Right, so I right, okay, so I presume I have to get away from these fellas whilst collecting little pots of gold or dirt or something. Should be able to manage that. How am I going to across here? Oh, I can go across there. Right. And oh, let's get that one. Uh, have I got a weapon? Oh, I can do that. Um. Ah. But I've got to wait for that. No, no. <laughs> what else do we have? Nuts milk. Nuts milk. I've got to see what that is. One player, yes. Oh, is it something similar? Um, right. Oh. <laughs> well, that is nuts milk. Olympic. Olympic. It's kind of torch there. Hyper Olympic. Interesting. I'm ready. This is it. Uh, I don't know what to do. What am I pressing? Which button do I do? <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh. Phew. <laughs> that was hard work. Game over. Don't even get any continues. Thanks. We're on to Spartan X now. Ugh. And there's a lot of people who want to beat me up. Whoa. <laughs> okay, well, oh, I'm dead. Penguin Kun Wars, interesting. Um, yeah, we'll, yeah, okay, we'll try that then. I know we're all really wanting that one. Whoa, whoa, okay. Did I get him then? Have I just got to get rid of all these balls? Is that what I have to do? Oh, well, he got me then, twice with his big bowling balls. So we're on to Star Destroyer now. Okay, so this should be quite fun. Simple scrolling shoot em up. Be great if you could uh, maybe use this to take out some frustrations. Let's just say your train you're waiting for has been delayed. Then yeah, you can go and battle some bad guys on this. Probably helps if you don't die though. <laughs> Contra time. Can't go wrong with a bit of Contra, surely. Well, I keep forgetting the controls the wrong way. Ah! <laughs> right, let's try that again. Whoa. Um, yeah, ah, oh, man. <laughs> Well, the controls can be frustrating, I must admit. I'm not going to say I'm exactly good at this game, but it doesn't help when you expect to press one button and you just keep jumping because I'm pressing the wrong button. And look at that, game over already. So there we go, that was just a very quick look and of course a demonstration of the Game Boy iPhone case in action. And you know what, I thought it was a fair bit of fun. Yeah, it's a bit cheap and it feels a bit gimmicky, but overall to have a retro console on your phone without draining any additional power, it is pretty neat. Now, as for the games, well, there's a nice little varied selection there for you to choose from, but of course they are not the original licensed versions. They are in fact just some low-costing emulations. But again, lots of fun can be had, especially if you've got some spare time on your hands. And then as for the buttons, well, nine out of 10 times, they do what you want them to do. However, there is the odd frustrating moment where you go to jump or walk forward and it just doesn't happen. But of course, the biggest criticism I have to say is the A and B buttons are the wrong way round. And it isn't on all the games, but the ones you'd expect it to be on, 
yeah, it's, it's switched, it's the wrong way around, which can be very, very frustrating and almost ruins the gameplay in a way. However, overall, yeah, it's cheap, but it does the job. I mean, it fits on your phone and you can play games on it. So if you are someone who likes nostalgia, the 80s, or just retro gaming, then do check one of these out. And as long as you don't expect too much from it, then you should have quite a bit of fun. But as usual, before I go, please do tell me your thoughts on the Game Boy iPhone retro case in the comment section beneath this video. And if you did like this video and you like tech, then please show your appreciation by giving this video a fantastic thumbs up and don't forget to hit me up on that classic subscribe button. But until next time, thank you once again for watching and I hope to see you at some point very soon. Thank you.